All right, welcome to the first ever What to Do If You Were Governor. That's right. Each of us has a list of things we would do if we became governor of Kentucky. It's basically a spin-off of Bust My Balls only. What we'd do if we were governor. I saw some stuff at the levee that made me think of this. He saw some fat, ugly girls walking down with no clothes. Hardly, hardly any question. And he, was, he said, if I were governor, I'd ban skinny clothes on fat people. Did I say that right? Don't do that. You messed it up. How? Continue. Don't ask me about something that's on the list. Continue. No, you screwed it up. Start with it. You asked me about something that's on your list right there. Look at your list. No, we screwed up. Alright. Number one on my list, no ugly spawning. That means no uggos can have kids. Think about it. It's rare that two ugly people get together and actually have a kid that's viewable. How are you going to get that law passed? Show a picture of two ugly people and then a composite picture of what you think it would look like. All kind of like on Kermit? Of course. My uh, number one besides the one I just screwed up, no siblings' boyfriends are allowed within 50 miles of any family member. Care to elaborate? Not right now. Alright. Number two on mine, no fatty breeding. breeding. Breathing. <laughs> we, a little hard. <laughs> we have a boss that's like 450 pounds. His wife is just like 300, something like that. The sheer physics of it. It would be like our two of Pat Diesel's testicles going at it. Yeah, it's not pleasant. I would rather watch something about Mary Water Buffalo. Green on the Discovery Channel. Or lions. Lions aren't that fat that water buffs are being carried discussing creatures. Kind of like Michael Warren. Who kind of looks like someone. But uh, yeah. Hey, speaking of Michael Warren, my next thing on the list would I would not allow Michael Moore to make any more movies. Well, in Kentucky he cannot shoot anything until you become president. Well I may not want it. I highly doubt I'd ever become president by putting a video out like this. Next on mine, but, but, but if I am president, I'm going to have a human shield made up of homeless people. They're useless. And I'm going to pay them in cigarette butts. They're useless people. They, think about it. They could easily go to a homeless shelter and find some crappy job, but instead they go spend their money on booze and then somehow find a game schedule when they're outside every ballpark <laughs> waiting for you. One time me and Robert were walking and said, and one of them were like, everybody's got a girlfriend but me. And me and Robert looked at each other because we didn't have one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, well, time, another thing oh. if I was president, I would uh, take all episodes of Becker ever filmed, take them to New Mexico and drop an atomic bomb on Drop one on the whole state of New Mexico. What's next on your list? I would castrate all sexual predators. <laughs> next on mine, certain people <laughs> would the name would say this rhymes with itch are not allowed within 30 miles of me, no matter what I do. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. What? We all no <laughs> the next one. Next. Um, People have to realize when a camera is rolling. Terrence Howard will eat free at all restaurants. Come on. Recover. We know you're wearing the sweatband for a reason. <laughs> All Red Sox fans are to be drowned in the Kentucky River. Dante Bichette enters the state. He must first have plastic surgery. 
That's how ugly it is. <laughs> State of Kentucky, there will be no breast reduction surgeries <laughs> because it's an unnatural act. I would chain Michael Bolton to the Capitol building and make him sing my <laughs> old Kentucky home every time I wake up in the morning. For those of you who are not in this room or in this house, David Stab is right behind the camera when I said that last time. Next on my list, if you cannot grow full legitimate facial hair, you must shave. No dust stashes. <laughs> Shot. <laughs> if Charlie Villanueva enters the state, he must wear a toupee. And an eyebrow toupee. I think he can borrow something from that lady at Great American Ballpark. <laughs> or that one guy we looked up with the inner eater brow that looked like Pierce Brosnan. Oh, yeah. Well, that's pretty much all we have. That's all we have for this segment of yeah. Fire Governor. Dad. What? Never mind. Well, they were worried about the car. That's it. That's it. Conversations going across through this studio. Bradley McIntosh for president. Heck, you saw it. Oh, I love 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 it. Oh,